Looks like Lubbock were about to get ready to face the first ball. It's Sora Pungle running in. And uh, this one's uh, taking a bit of an edge. It's a streakish boundary to start off. Karn Parvesh. This one's a low full toss and it's absolutely belted. It's going to go to the right of the commentary tent right here as a uh, take a look at our work over here. And this one's uh, gone away for four, so it was a low full toss. It's another wider delivery. It's coming straight to the commentary tent. And uh, it's going to go just by us. And uh, that'll be a boundary as I just uh, turn the ball here to Hitler uh, Yesterdani. Yeah, it's a slower ball, just played away. And in the end, that really should have gone for four. And it looks like it will go for four. It's uh, There's no fielder out there. It actually wasn't struck as cleanly as the sound would have liked. But he will get that boundary. This is a big shot. This one's popped up in the air. Is it going to clear the fielder? It looks like it will. That was a nice effort there by Chaitay Shah. But there wasn't really much he could do about it. And that's gone the distance. So Shekawad Hussain would have had his heart in his mouth as he saw that ball go high up in that night nice sky. But... It's just about managed to clear the fielder, and Shukawa Desain gets a six. This one uh, played away, and uh, this will just race away to the boundary rope. So Shukawa Desain, after a bit of an uncomfortable start, has managed to get some confidence back. He struck a six at the end of the previous over, and he gets a boundary here. This one's popped up in the air. Could be a catching opportunity. Fielder's converging underneath it. The keeper's underneath it. Dale, and he will take that catch. Good stuff here, and Shukawa Desain, he... Had a few lucky breaks go his way, had a catch put down, was on the right side of a run out opportunity, but in the end he has to depart. Never looked particularly comfortable despite that boundary in the six, and Hussein's a pretty indifferent run of form uh, continues. This one's a wider delivery, could be another catching chance, could be two quick wickets, and it's two quick wickets for MDocs, that's just what they needed, they go bang, bang, and they managed to pick up two wickets and two balls, this one in a new over. Hitei Stadani gets that wicket and they dismiss both the openers. So it's two new batsmen out there for the Nicosia Tigers. Just what MDocs desired. So let's take us a pace off that ball. Could be another catching opportunity. It's taken another big wicket for MDocs. And it's the second one of the over for Hitei Stadani. Anwar Hussein has to depart. And this is some top, top stuff. A great comeback by MDocs. And they've pulled themselves right back into this game. They've gotten three quick wickets just like they did in the first match. This one's a full toss and uh, Niftigar Jaman will just whack that away and that's his six. So he uh, starts off this innings just the way he finished the previous one. He's continuing to fire. This one's uh, popped up in the air. Could be a catching opportunity. Shrikant's underneath it. He has to take it but he's put this one down. And that was the chance MDocs were waiting for. And this is a big, big blow for them. And they'll also run across for overthrows here. And uh, that's a second run there. And this is an absolutely gutting moment for MDocs. This one's uh, popped up in the air. Is this a catching opportunity? It won't be. Is it's just going to go over Vinod Savin's head? And that's going to be a boundary. So a streakish boundary for Bilal Hussein. And he'll happily take that one. He'll happily take any luck he gets. This one uh, is coming off the bottom edge of the bat. I think Dale thought it might have gone for a direct hit. Bilal Hussein absolutely clobbers this one. And it's going to go to a boundary. So just a few mistakes here by MDocs. And the game is starting to slip away from them. And goes for the shorter ball here. This is another catching opportunity. It wasn't cleanly struck. But Bilal Hussein, well, he bats with a tree trunk. And even when he edges it, it goes the distance for a six. So this one's gone up in the air again. Could be another catching opportunity. It's going to... Chete Shah, I think, and he's taken this one. Cool as a cucumber. Nice catch taken. So they do finally hold on to his catch. MDocs Cricket Club, they dropped a few catches earlier. Uh, they dropped a very important catch of Iftikhar Jaman, and they do take his catch this time, but you wonder if Jaman has done enough damage. He's played a brilliant innings again. Nice little cameo by him to try to power aside. So the big shot, Bilal Hussein. And this one again, he just threw the kitchen sink at it. A bit too much width on offer there by Vimal Kanduri. And this one's a belted there. And it's a good catch taken by Sora Pungal. Fantastic bit of work. We saw him bowl superbly. And now he's taking one of the better catches you'll see. Top, top stuff by MDocs who uh, have responded very well to that big over they had. 18 runs went off that seventh over. But they've come back. They've managed to pick up a couple of wickets. 
going to be a dot ball and do you remember oh that one's been hit and he's absolutely convinced of course uh, you can be run out on a no ball but I think uh, the issue here is that's not going to count as a as a run out it counts as a stumping and Ronnie's got one more ball left and is over goes to the big shot Jahid Hassan is this going to go the distance it certainly has that one's been deposited into the olive groves great shot there by Jahid Hassan One's belted once again. This is going to go the distance as well. And we did say that Jahid Hassan would have to whack a couple of big ones. This one's popped up. Kanduri can take this one and he will take it. And he'll get a wicket. So uh, just what Vimal Kanduri deserved. It's bowled quite well in this innings. And Faisal Mia has to depart. And that will be the second wicket for Vimal Kanduri. And this is a nice ball. For Kanduri, is this going to take his time to run him out? And <laughs> he does it. A bit of cheeky bit of stuff there. And some nice bit of comedy there by Vimal Kanduri at the end as uh, Tom Aluminal goes and high fives Preetaj Deol, and he's still having a word with him. Uh, we've got two fielders out on the boundary. Faisal Mia, deep mid-wicket, and a deep point. Jahid Hassan pulling the first delivery. And this is a nice ball. Angling back into Pankaj Pervational. This one's popped up in the air. Could be a catching opportunity. Fielders converging underneath it, including the bowler himself. And he takes that catch. And uh, this is a big, big wicket here. Pankaj Pervesh once again failing to do that damage he needed. Now he's been sent up the order to try to power that M Doc side, but all he did there was chip it up, and it's a cotton ball off Jahid Hassan's bowling. So uh, this one's uh, going to be a wide. It's also going to be four runs. So uh, four wides there. This one's a uh, struck away by Chete Shah, and uh, looks like he's picked out the gap. So uh, it was initially just hard to uh, find exactly where the ball was, but it's a brilliant, brilliant placement by. Shaitay Shah, and that's the thing with him. He's got he's a nice stroke player, not always the biggest hitter, and he's just done well to pick out the gap. This one's going to take an inside edge. Is it going to beat the fielder? It certainly will. So a streakish boundary there for M. Knox, but they'll take the runs however they can get them. Inside edge, and that races away for four. So uh, eight runs of the first three balls here for M. Knox. Goes the big shot, Hitay Sadani. There's a fielder underneath it, and that's the catch taken. Big blow, so a couple of boundaries in this over. And the Nicosia Tigers come storming back by taking that wicket. Hitay Sadani has to depart, and that's another one of MDOX's big hitters who has to leave. Two runs for him off the six deliveries he faced. Next to the ring, and this one's uh, played away by Chete Shah. It's a bit of a race for Anwar Hussein, and it looks like the ball is going to win that race. This one's popped up in the air. He's gone aerial. Shakawan Hussein is underneath it. Will he take this catch? He's put it down. That's a big, big drop there. A costly drop for the Nicosia Tigers. He this one's struck very nicely by Vimal Kanduri. And that's a shot indeed as a Vimian Kingma. Watch out. You're the big Netherlands fast bowler. And uh, that one uh, going right through him there, of course. Uh, Boris Gorley and Vivian Kingma. That was a... Uh, Brilliantly struck there. Nice work by Vimal Kanduri, and uh, there's certainly a big gap to uh, try to hit. This one's popped up. Could be a catching opportunity, but it'll go past Bilal Hussein. And it's another rather streakish boundary for MDOX as uh, they stay alive thanks to some of these fortuitous edges. This one uh, struck away by Vimal Kanduri. Is this going to race away to the boundary? It certainly will. And it's also deposited into the bottom of the goal over there. And he recognized that one, Vimal Kanduri, and he went for it. Good shot, good smart cricket. He noticed the field change. He took full advantage of it. Smart thinking cricket here from Vimal Kanduri. Was just aware of some of the tactical changes the Nicosia Tigers were implementing. Shasan running in. And that's a big swing and a miss there. And that's going to be an edge as well. Well, not much of an appeal there. That one was uh, pretty clearly nicked through to the keeper. So uh, Chete Shah has to depart. He tried to... Hang on to that innings. Paddled it out very well. Made a good 26 of 18. 
Took some pace off that ball there, and it's going to take a few bounces. Is this going to race away to the boundary rope? It certainly will. So Sorapungal. Still a big gap through that point cover region, and he goes for a big shot there, and it's going to get an edge. Is it going to go for four? It certainly will. So they're getting the fortune with these edges. The fortuitous edges continue for MDOX Creek. That's another boundary. Goes across his wickets, Vimal Kanduri, and he hits it straight to the fielder, but it'll go through his hands. It's going to go away to the boundary rope. It certainly will, so that's a much-needed four there. Goes so the big shot, and this one's just going to trickle away. They're going to surely come back for a second run. He's charging back. This is going to the danger end, but Pungal just about gets back, and he went for the direct hit, Jahid Hassan, but it's just missed. Goes across the wickets. Has he picked out the gap? Well, Kunduri certainly has. Make that a boundary. Some very smart cricket there by Kunduri. Goes for the big shot, and he's going to send Pungal back. And, well, in the end, they'll run back for one. And he's been direct hit. So what exactly are MDocs thinking here? And, well, that could be a very costly mistake because if Pungal hits a four on this last ball, it just won't matter. And now MDOX have a chance to return that favor to hit a six to win it. Will Sorapungal do it? Will he hit a six to win this game? Bilal Hussein running in. He goes for the big shot and it's a dot ball. So Bilal Hussein holds on to his nerve and delivers a win for the Nicosia Tigers. And MDOX yet again heartbreak have a heartbreaking defeat as they've fallen just short here against the Nicosia Tigers. It's deja vu for MDOX. How many of these last ball thrillers are they going to lose? We've seen them lose numerous games right at the end we've seen them fall short against the Muflons, the fighters the sri lankan lions but here they are once again the tigers will make it four wins and four against them and they've won